Hey everybody, it's Kim with Julie Noir and I'm back with another video. <laughs> so today what I'm doing, as you can tell, I have my foundation on, I have my eyebrows on, but I don't have anything else on. That's because I just got my Morphe palettes in. I have one more that's on the way, but I got my Morphe palettes in and I couldn't wait to show you guys what I have. But then I also couldn't wait to do an actual video showing my first time in about maybe five or six years of doing an actual um, eyeshadow look something that's more than one eyeshadow now it's not gonna be anything fancy because trust me I don't even know what I'm doing I bought like four palettes that are like 15 and more eyeshadows and I don't even know what to do with them so if you guys have any ideas feel free to write them in the comment section I was talking to my friend the other day of he's a makeup artist about how I kind of kind of on an impulse because it was like on sale purchased all of these eyeshadow palettes from Morphe and he was like yeah you really did go <laughs> go in full force with eyeshadows knowing that because he knows that I don't wear eyeshadow mainly because I wear glasses and um, then the next part is because I really don't have a whole lot of time and I don't know what I'm doing so that's that so if you guys want to see this video of me doing my eyeshadow and finishing my look keep watching oh yeah before you watch this video go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get all of our videos when we upload them you don't want to miss out on anything thanks for watching guys I'm going to use today is my Morphe 35R Ready Set Gold. It is a really nice palette. I'm going to just open it up here of neutral tone shadows but with shimmers as well. It has like a card on it or yeah that goes on top of it with all of the names. So I'm just going to put that there. But then it has like all of these really pretty neutral tones that are really brown girl friendly. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do today because I still want to keep it neutral because I'm going to wear a red lip. So what I'm going to first do is put on a little bit of my concealer. I don't have an eyeshadow primer yet. I'm still looking for one of those, but I'm going to use some of this Toffee Concealer by LA Girl Pro that I use as my under eye highlighter just so that the shadows can kind of pop a little bit more. And then I'm going to take this brush. I got this brush also from Morphe. It is a S30. I got it a while back, so I don't know. I know they've been changing some of their colors. Oh, no, colors. <laughs> some of their brushes, the names of their brushes and things, and they've been doing some different things. So it may not be the same brush, but it's just a flat brush. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just kind of blend it out the rest of the way. Then next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the color Star in my um, 35R palette and just dip it in. It has a really nice color to it. It's not very sheer, which is good. I'm just going to take it and kind of sweep it on there. I don't know if that's making that much of a difference. I think it's kind of blending in with my skin, so I might have to go in with a deeper tone. I am actually gonna go in and take the color up close. It's a deeper brown color. But yes, that pops a lot more. And then I'm just gonna blend out with this Morphe MB23 brush. So once that's blended out, I'm going to take this Morphe brush. It's not, it doesn't have a name on it, but it does. Um, I'm just going to use it to use a deeper color. I'm going to actually use um, this color Silly. It's a really deep chocolate brown color. So then next, the color that I'm going to use for my lid, I think I'm going to use this color Rich, also in that same palette. It's a really pretty, um, kind of a, not really too much copper, but it's on the copper side. Then I'm going to take it and blend that out, and then go back into the 
deep chocolate color, Rick, uh, Philly, and get back on that outer. So that's it for the eyes. I went on ahead, I just put a little bit more of the copper cup on this lid because it was kind of faint, um, because I was able to kind of pat it on a little bit better on this eye. So, so far, so good. And so now I'm just gonna take my LA Girl Pro concealer and I'm gonna just um, actually finish the rest of my face. Okay guys, so that's it. This is the look <laughs> that I came up with. I know you guys probably saw me doing some thinking, some brainstorming, trying to see what it is that I could do and what it is that I wanted to do with the eyeshadows. So I hope you guys like what you see. I hope that I did an okay job. I was looking at through, I was like halfway through and I was like, eh, I don't know if this is gonna be good. I don't know if this is turning out okay or not. You probably can't see it through my glasses. So I did kind of like a little shot so that you guys could see what the eyeshadow look came out to be um, if you couldn't see it. So what I didn't explain also was that I put a little bit of shimmer in my inner tear ducts. I do that even when I put on um, just one eyeshadow just to brighten up my eyes because my eyes are a little bit smaller. So I just do that so that it can just brighten them up and make them you know, pop a little bit more. What I have on my lips is actually three different things. I have my cherry liner from MAC, my Ruby Woo from MAC, and then I have this, I think it's called Always Red. I think the little sticker is torn off, but it's by Sephora. It's a liquid lipstick, and I absolutely love this combination. Whenever I wear red lipstick, this is what I grab. I want to show you guys one last thing. My, Mor my other two Morphe palettes that I didn't get to show you guys. So this one is another Morphe palette. It's a smaller one. It's 15 shadows. The 15T, Your True Selfie. And it has a mirror in it. And so I'm not gonna blind you guys with that, but it's got this pretty green color and some neutral colors in it and some orange shades that I'm kind of interested in doing and some shimmers. So it's a mix of shimmers and mattes. And then my last one is a, another large palette. I think it's like 24 shades in here. And so this is the cover for it or the yeah, the cover for it. It comes with the little plastic with the names on top. And then it's also mattes and shimmers, but it has some reds in there, um, some deeper reds that I'm interested in doing some things with and some browns. So I gotta kind of figure out how to do these lighter browns that are a little bit um, probably closer to my skin tone because they're just gonna blend in. So I probably have to get like a white base so that those can really show up or something. I don't know, you guys let me know. This one is the 24G Grand Glam. I'm gonna go and take care of my edges. They look like they got a little fuzzy. But yeah, so I don't know if you guys see my little puff ball ponytail. If you guys want a video on that, I can do that as well. I did that on my own. <laughs> so if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know how I did. Let us know what other videos you want to see. Have a good one. Bye guys.